employers can help vulnerable young people by giving them opportunities that they might not otherwise get from their local community and by giving them these opportunities it will help them increase their employability skills and also their confidence as well. The activities which help most are practical activities where the individual can take part in active learning. So for example, bringing the individuals into your workplace for hands-on work um, and also putting in place practical work experience programmes as well where they can get it involved in frontline activities. Employers should consider before embarking on this type of work uh, to make sure that they have a, a plan in place, a strategic plan in place. They know what their end goal looks like with the individuals that they're working with or the groups that they're working with and also um, that they have the time and the commitment involved as well not only from a business point of view and an individual's point of view but from the young persons that you're working with as well and having that mutual commitment will give you the results that you need at the end. The benefits of supporting these young people are endless. One, it allows businesses to achieve their social value commitment. However, most importantly, it allows these individual and vulnerable young people to go out into the community and to use the skills that they have learned and developed. And we truly believe that happy people make a happy business. The difficulties of working with vulnerable young people is that it can take time and it will take time. There may be um, a lack of aspiration, there could be second or third generation unemployment within their family, so for example their parents, their grandparents, and this could cause a lack of confidence for the individual and certainly maybe a lack of motivation. They need to feel valued, they need to feel safe and they need someone with them to support them on their journey and they also need someone not to judge them. An employee can make a real difference by doing something completely different, by being inspirational, motivational and by engaging with that individual and most importantly by making it fun and where possible allow that individual to take the lead when they're doing an activity or taking part in something that way they'll be able to use the skills that they've learned and they'll be able to increase their confidence as well. Employers can prepare for this type of work by going out into their community, by talking to schools, organisations, academies and certain groups and finding out the background information of these individuals. So for example, their likes, their dislikes, what motivates them, what keeps them engaged. And most importantly, it's about building a really strong relationship between yourself and your organisation and the individual and the group of people that you're working with. My top tips would be be prepared and also share your information and your knowledge so your individuals can go out and use the key skills that they've learnt. Also promote what you're doing in your own organisation so you can share with your own colleagues exactly why you are working with these vulnerable young people and the benefits that they will bring and get them involved too. Most importantly have fun and be motivational as these young people are the future of your workforce.